Uh, hi, my name is Ross. Uh, I play in a band called Fatherson, and I'm going to talk about this. Johnny Mitchell Blue is my favourite album of all time. I think <clears throat> it's so simple, like there's nothing to it, but the, that's the, the beauty of it. 90% of it is just her and a guitar or her and a piano, just making the most amazing music. And it's just like kind of like happy soul music and it's just she just writes about things you'd never even think of in the way it phrases and if <clears throat> you look into some of the history all the, the people she's singing about are like crazy famous at that time as well but it's just like it's so honest you can hear her heartbreak the entire way through it and I don't know I never really got it when I it was always a favourite of my parents when I was growing up and I was like, oh yeah, that's alright, and I just listened to System of Down and like Slipknot and shit and everyone was like, that sounds terrible, get into this. So like loads of James Taylor and Elton you know, John and Billy Joel and stuff, but that always sort of stuck with me regardless of what else I was listening to, I always sort of went back and listened to that and then only in the last couple of years I really got, I don't know, something clicked and I went, that's just incredible. Like, and it doesn't matter what's going on, like, if we're away doing shows or we're home and we're all working, like, full time and everything's just a bit crazy, then you just sit for an hour and put that on. Then you're just not. It's the only album I've ever found that regardless of what's going on, if I sit down and listen to it, it's, everything's good. And it makes me want to write music. And I always did make me want to write music, and not that we write anything that's even remotely similar to it, but it just. I just think it's amazing. Like, Case of You, one of the most beautiful songs that I've ever heard. Uh, Blue as well. It's, I can't. There's no bad song on that album, and they're all better than every other song, just because it's just totally different. And even some of the some of the tunes like All I Want and Things that have got more like harmonies and a bit more production stuff on it are cool because when you think of what they were recording on and stuff, it's just like I don't know, it just sounds incredible and it just makes you feel good in a bad way. Like it makes you go, Well, she's feeling really bad about that, but that's cool. Like she's obviously not that bothered about it and it's just poured it all into this song <clears throat> and I just think that n no one would have been sitting there critiquing what she was doing she was just that good and just got to go in and make an album while hanging out with everyone that was ever anyone and yeah I don't know it's a strange one to for all the music that we play and that we write and the bands the other bands that we love it's so across the board and probably much, much heavier than than that, but it can all be boiled down to the fact that it's just great songs, it doesn't need to be fancy or big or have, you know, breakdowns or tons of strings and a million harmonies to make it sound good. If, if that can be that good, then anything could be that good, if, like, those songs speak for themselves, they don't need to it up or, like, 18 producers to go like, oh, I think we should put like a little electric drum kit at the back of that, it's like, no, fuck off. Like, it's cool. Like, it's good music. And <clears throat> I think it's nice. Everyone will have an album that does that for them. And I'm just really glad that that's the one that does it for me. So, yeah. I think that I heard that when we were younger, all oh, the bands we, we grew up with, there was always a saying that was like, if it doesn't sound good on an acoustic guitar, then it's just not good. And I've always taken that, you know, a lot alongside the album to be like, yeah, if you can't hear yourself singing that with nothing else around it, or you can hear someone else singing that song with nothing else around it, then it's not good. I think just <clears throat> the vocabulary she uses is really interesting because <clears throat> it's just smart. Everything's thought about in a way that is 
now overthought. Like she was being twee, or like just you know pandering to some sort of audience. It's just like she's really smart lyricist. And she's an incredible pianist and other musician, so she's just like trying to, you know, cherry pick elements of that to put into other things. Yeah, it's definitely influenced my writing because I feel like after I listen to it, I write. You know, sometimes you go through periods where you just never write anything at all, and every time I listen to it, I take some time just to even listen to a couple of tunes I go away with. I don't know, I just go away and play the piano, or go away and play the guitar and I write something. Not that it's all good, or any good, but it just... Yeah. It inspires me to do just whatever that I want to do that day. And that's cool. Yeah. I like it. There's a song called The River on it. That sort of feels like a Christmas song, all the way through, just the way that... Just do 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 is like so festive, but is obviously I don't know. I love that. I just think that she's got a, a song called "The Last Time I Saw Richard" on that album, and it just talks about really mundane things about this guy's life after he met this like. So she used to see him, and then they met years later, and he married this woman, and he bought a coffee maker and just leaves all the lights on and it's just like miserable and sits on the couch and it's just quite a even if that Richard guy is no one you feel like you know who that is after you know just a couple of lines and even <clears throat> just the the harmony and the whole thing just the way she, she plays the piano to support what she's wanting to do there's just the piano line that opens blue is just like what the and it's so simple. It's like five notes. It's not like you know trying to be crazy. It's just like where did that come from? And you know it must be like we just recorded an album in a place where like <clears throat> there's like Wonderwall there. So Oasis wrote Wonderwall at this place and. There's like a yellow stone there where Chris Martin wrote yellow. And it's just like that's so cool. That the, all the all these songs on that album feel like they had that moment when something magic happened. And it's just I don't have to have any one point. I think the song I sing most from it is The Case of You. But I don't know what I would choose to listen to. If I had to just listen to one, uh, it would probably be The River. Yeah. It's just really smart. And you can tell, it's just the way she tells stories, it's just, it's just honest. And I like that about it. No frills. Yeah.